Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some extremely exciting news surrounding the iOS 8 through 8.1 untethered jailbreak for all iDevices. All right, so starting off, I'm going to preface by saying if you have yet to jailbreak, there will actually be an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. Just be sure to click that to be taken to my jailbreak video, and you can also find a link to it down below in the more info or on my channel. Once you're jailbroken, you can come back here for the information in today's video. So this is a really exciting update, guys. It's for Cydia once you're jailbroken, and as many of you know, Cydia is the graphical user interface for for distributing third-party tweaks for iOS devices. So now those on iOS 8 through 8.1 jailbroken by way of Pangu for iOS 8 can now officially set a passcode. There's been an update to Cydia. It's a rather major one. I'm actually going through the process of setting up a passcode now to show you guys after installing the update that it does indeed work. So I'm going to swipe over and you will notice that I do have the little notification on Cydia. It's saying that that there are two available updates. Let's go ahead and tap into it and see exactly what they are. So let's wait for it to refresh. And I'm actually going to ignore temporarily so we can actually go inside of it and see what the changes entail. But if you're not seeing the update, then just go down to the changes section at the bottom and then tap refresh in the upper left hand corner of your device's display. Now let's actually go inside of City Installer here and look at the changes. So first and foremost, iOS 8 passcode compatibility. Yes. Yes, you can finally set a passcode with your iOS 8 jailbreak and you can use Touch ID if you have a device like the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, or the iPad Mini 3. And we also have multitasking support for iOS 8. So Cydia now backgrounds like a regular application, but only if you're on iOS 8. There's also new window and hijack blocking, meaning the ads that previously instantly redirected to the App Store, they were ever so annoying they are now blocked by Cydia itself. We also have partial iPhone 6 Plus support. So Cydia now supports rotation on the iPhone 6 Plus and it has not only 3X icon, but also tab bar support. And of course, videos work again. And what I mean by that is essentially two things have been fixed. So there's been a persistent bug since iOS 7.1 and there's also a new iOS 8 bug that displays a YouTube error message. So both of those have now been fixed and localization on iOS 8 works. So it can be displayed in other languages based Based on your region. And now the queue status bar is quote less incorrect. So sometimes Cydia would not have queued up packages properly but it would claim that it already had or vice versa and have packages queued up when it claimed that it did not. As far as known issues are concerned when installing certain packages that put icons on the springboard the icons may not appear. And while rebooting might fix this problem for certain tweaks it's because the UI cache tool has yet to be updated for iOS 8 which refreshes iOS Icons. So we're definitely on our way to a flawless iOS 8 jailbreak. I'm extremely excited for these updates. They're absolutely huge for the world of jailbreaking. Let's go ahead and upgrade on this fifth generation iPod Touch. Again, if you don't see them, go to the Changes tab, tap on Refresh, and then you can update them. Let's go ahead and confirm. So let's just wait for these two updates to install. And you may have noticed previously that I did indeed set a passcode. Once we have these updates installed successfully, I'm actually going to lock the iPod Touch just to show you guys again that I do have a passcode set as a default 1111. So let's go ahead and close out of Cydia now. And I'm going to lock the iPod Touch and we're going to slide to unlock. And again, 1111. And now I'm going to reboot just to show you guys that I do not get stuck in the boot loop now that I have the latest version of Cydia. So let's go ahead and wait for it to power off. And once it does, I will turn it back on. I'm actually going to leave it up on the display throughout the duration of the reboot process, just so you guys can see that again, it does successfully boot up without any sort of complication. So let's go ahead and wait for it. I'm about to press the power button right now. Okay, we have the Apple logo, and like I said previously, I'm going to leave it up just so you guys can see. Also, I figured this would be a good time to mention that if you have yet to jailbreak using my latest tutorial, I have also included the new Cydia file in said tutorial for the download. So if you follow that tutorial and you jailbreak and install Cydia, you'll already have the latest version. So keep that in mind.
All right, and we have a rather interesting white with black Apple logo screen up on the iPod Touch now. I actually haven't seen that one on this device, and it definitely can be attributed to the Pangu jailbreak. So it should come back up shortly. It does go through a series of reboots now. Let's go ahead and slide over here. And of course, 1111. So you do know that it does work, passcode works successfully, and Touch ID does work on the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, and the iPad Mini 3. Just a quick update video for you guys on not only Cydia, but also Pangu and the all new update for the jailbreak. Let's hope that more updates come soon and the UI cache problem has been fixed so that new packages that install icons on your springboard show up without having to reboot. But either way, that is definitely an easy fix. Just simply power off and power on your device. And if you have yet to jailbreak for any reason, maybe you're holding out, definitely don't. We're getting closer to a near perfect jailbreak and it's an absolutely incredible time in the world of jailbreaking right now. And if you haven't, of course, remember that you can find my video in an annotation form on the desktop version of YouTube. Just be sure to click that and watch it as it will ensure that you don't encounter any issues or complications. That's that only way to ensure that you can jailbreak successfully. So keep that in mind. Also, if you're on Mac OS X, like I am here, then you can install either a Windows partition on your Mac using Bootcamp Assistant, or you can set up a virtual machine using any number of programs. There's so many tutorials for either that you can find online. So if you're waiting and you're on Mac, just be sure to check it out because it could be a while before Pangu updates their utility for native Mac support. Also, if you guys liked this video and it helped you and you're interested in earning paid apps and gift cards, just be sure to rate it up. Leave a relevant comment down below in the comments section. And once your comments have been posted, visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. After tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app, download and install the temporary secure and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, again, remember, install sponsored apps for points and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and that's it for this video. Just letting you guys know about the all new Cydia update and how you can now have a passcode completely set on your jailbroken device and how it does work with Touch ID. And if you guys wanna be updated more often, such as when I release more videos like this one related to jailbreaking or even forthcoming Apple products such as the Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.